Hey everybody, Hibiscus syriacus, the Rose of Sharon, here in high summer, late July, even coming into August. You can see we're in full bloom. Uh, this is a little bit of a different hibiscus. It's more of a shrub hibiscus. Uh, a lot of the hibiscuses that, hibiscuses that you learn are ones that die back down to the ground. Uh, this one has a woody stem that persists, and so it is a woody plant. We're looking at ones with double flowers right here, but this is a, a very nice plant. The leaves are quite different than many of the hibiscus that you will encounter. Uh, this plant does get a little bit of a bad rap because it tends to seed around. Uh, in some cases, in the right conditions, it produ produces a lot of baby hibiscus around it. Uh, but outstanding in flower, you can get ones with white flowers, pink flowers, uh, purple flowers, kind of chartreuse flowers, all over the, all not chartreuse, but uh, kind of pr different purples, shades of purple. Uh, but beautiful, still loaded up with a lot of blooms on it here. A great plant for the home landscape. Full sun uh, where you can control any seedlings that come up. So this Rose of Sharon uh, has alternate leaf arrangement. Um, multi-lobed kind of sharp looking leaves to it, always typically very dark green. Can get uh, 12 foot high or higher, 10 foot wide or wider. Uh, the one that you're looking at right now is a double flowering variety called Raspberry Smoothie. Uh, that's pretty nice on the market. Uh, this is a beautiful plant uh, and again one that you need to watch out for seedling production, uh, but a good one for the home landscape. Here's a landscape tip. Excellent flowering shrub that may be massed, planted in groups, or used as a specimen.